Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome. My name is Amanda. I am here with the Aces. Hi. Whew. I'm going to have them each introduce themselves. My name is McKenna Petty. Um, I play the bass guitar. And don't want to say my sign. I'm an Aries. I'm Crystal Ramirez. I'm lead singer of the Aces. Uh, my zodiac sign is Capricorn. My rising is Scorpio. And my moon is in Taurus. Amazing. Wow. Impressive. I'm Katie. I play guitar. And my sign is Aquarius. And I don't know the other things. We can figure it out. <laughs> All I know is it's Libra season. <laughs> it's my season. I just turned 21. Woo! Three days ago. Let's go. Incredible. Happy belated. Thank you. I have a present. Do you want to open it now? Oh, let's do it. In the spirit? Let's do it. In the spirit? Um, I, this is for all of you, but I'm letting. Um, but since it's Libra season. Since it's Libra season. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why this is taking me way longer than it should. Okay. <gasps> Would you like to say what it is? <laughs> oh, uh, take me back. It's a little oh, Romeo album. What is album. the song? Oh, it is the girlies and my baby remix. <laughs> There's a song called The Girlies. <laughs> the Girlies and by the Romeo. By Lil Romeo. Oh, this is ideal, actually. That's this actually extremely ideal. I, I got it so you guys could blast it. You I, I got you some stickers well. as well. Um, you know yeah, the so Girlies. Oh um, I this thought it was your brand. Um, I got you guys some camp stickers, awesome. camp radios you guys can rep. And then there's a... There's a, there's a in 2003. Lil Romeo came for our brand. <laughs> in 15 years ago. Um, but there's, there's a Father John Misty sticker in there for you, Katie. I know oh you like gosh. Father John Misty. Thank so, you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet of you. You know me too well. I, I pay attention. That's awesome. Um, Thank but you. yeah, so the girlies blast it. You got the uh, the regular ver version. You got the remix. You got the acapella and the instrumental. Girlies. So oh, the girlies. The girlies. There's also a scathing review in there from 2003 that someone wrote. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well. yeah. The stickers will fall out. So. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll yeah. You can give us the gist of the review. The, the thing was like, um, yeah, the, this rapper um, is basically like the son of a famous producer. So, and he's like eight. So it's I don't know why there? anyone. It's yeah. In there. Yes. It's literally in his own CD. No. A bad review. Someone from our radio station oh. in 2003, a college student in 2003, wrote a scathing review, and I kept oh, it in there. Oh, I literally for you thought all. he published his oh, own. No. He published his own haters. Iconic. I mean that we stand. Honestly, we stand. So you guys kind of mentioned uh, this has been a whirlwind. Uh, when my heart fell volcanic came out six months ago. Yeah. It's been six months. Awesome. I yeah. know we probably shouldn't say our new our new album. It's just still new. Out. It's still 2018. Like you can say new literally up to almost like two years after your album. Yeah. Yeah, Honestly, you could say new f like a record to me like because if most records that I discover have been out for a minimum yeah. of six months. Yeah. yeah. And that's a that's new. That's true. Record. That's yeah. cool like to think of. Even. Like years, sometimes like when you find a great record, you're like, oh, has there been out for like oh, a while? A lot of my favorite bands, I figured them out like three, four years later. I was like, this came out in 2015. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like <laughs> unless your record is like five years old, then it's not new. You know what I mean? Because yeah. even if a record's a couple years old, that's like a relatively new record. Definitely. Yeah. You like, know? You can still in record years. Yeah. In, in, in record age. Mm -hmm. Like dog years, but record years. Oh, cute. Um, so I just, I want to know how has your guys' life changed since you guys put that album out? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> a lot has changed. We've gone on like, I guess Coin was right before we put it out, yeah. but we went to back to Europe. We, this tour has been the biggest tour we've ever done. And I feel just like our fan base is consistently growing and it's yeah. cool to see people discovering us. Yeah, it's great. Just feeling great. I feel like I can't cool. even like process. Like I feel like yeah. it's just like changed so much. Like we've like just, this has been like definitely our biggest year of growth. For sure. And we just barely started so, touring like, a year ago. Not even a year ago. Last November was, and that's crazy to think of because it feels like we, we've, we've just like learned so much, been on the road forever. So that's cool. We think about like a year ago from today, we probably had like five thousand followers on Instagram. You know, yeah. and yeah. now we're at almost sixty thousand. Like just that. I mean, maybe it's not like insane. That's like awesome though. That's yeah. yeah that's that's, that's like a girl. really good girl. We feel very proud. Yeah. And, so I got to see you guys at your hometown show. That was like kind of like the beginning of this past six months was that hometown show at the Velour. Yeah. That's, that's the best show I've been to this year. I'm sorry. Hands oh, down. You. Hands that's down. Awesome. I've been like 20 shows. That was the best one. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. What did yeah. you like about it? Um, I mean, that venue's so cool. Yeah. It's so, like, so tiny. I, I popped in the night before, and I, like, kind of looked around. And I was like, wow, like, that's this the is really cool. Venue. That's um, the hometown vibe. Yeah. yeah. And then I, I, was, I, like, got there early, and we were front row, and... 
Um, so epic. We had a great Loved time, it. and you guys just played all the hits, man. Yeah. Played, all the, played hits. all the hits. Um, but one moment that I love uh, is when Crystal crowd surfed. <laughs> Oh or gosh. tried to crowd crouch. Oh, tried, yeah. Because like the um, thing about Valor, they're I so. I just feel that. like, I just feel like, they're so sweet, and like Valor is not really a place that people crowd through. And so I just went for it, and like, they, they, they everyone did their best, but yeah. Like, the cutest thing is that they literally just sat me down so softly. But they, like, like I gather around you, and then you guys were just all singing together. Yeah, no, it was, it was like, actually amazing. so heartwarming. Like, yeah. it was everything it was I expected from a purple crowd. Yeah. That like, they amazing. were so cute. Yeah. Like, they literally, I, like, hopped on them, and they like, held me up. But then, like, softly set me the down in the like, most <laughs> graceful. The whole crowd was like, apparently you could get hurt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were looking <laughs> out. <laughs> the entire crowd went, oh, no. you could get hurt. <laughs> and set me down on my feet. And then I literally just started singing with everyone, and everyone was screaming with it was, it was so oh fun. God. But I watched yeah. that video back and like fully was crying, like retweeted it, so yeah. dying laughing. It was like, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was incredible. Oh, it was so yeah. So from my perspective, I feel you really lean into me, and I'm like, okay. And I grabbed both of your ankles and I lifted Is you it, up. Was it you? It was me. She made it. It happen. was me. I was, I was a hesitant I crowd it. surfer though. I should have been more. Yeah, you I should have been like fully on me. I was like, I, you're going I up, girl. At the same time, I don't blame you for being hesitant with that crowd because like. You're right. Like that's not really a venue that like people crowd surf at. Yeah. So I feel like if you would have been like, Whoop, you might have just like ended up <laughs> just hurt people. literally tackling young girls. So. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite though is also I found out my friend who was standing behind me, the tall guy. Uh, he was like, yeah, she made eye contact with me and nodded, and that was when like yeah, yeah, okay, that's what yeah, it was. And I my remember friend grabbed your hips him. and looked you. I remember up. looking yeah. at him and he was kind of looking at me like, are you ready? And I looked yeah. at him and I was like, I'm ready. <laughs> and he's and like six feet tall. Me. Like everyone there was like five <laughs> four. Know, and he's six feet that. tall. I fully remember that. Yeah. I remember just like, he kind of I was he was looking at me and I literally just was like, sir. The yeah. eagle is flying. And I didn't know that that happened, but I guess he picked you up and I picked you up at like the same time. Well, and, honestly, it, and it happened. It was meant to be and then, and then we put, we let, sent you back and then you got set fully down, but we danced yeah. and it was great. Honestly, girl, you could get hurt. Could be. That's what happened. Could be. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm glad. I look, that, that was like one of the coolest moments of no, like that was so concert cool. moments I've ever been a part of. Uh, that was like a really, really awesome show. I love it. Was just yeah. Awesome. It was so cool. Um, are you guys playing like any hometown shows? Maybe like this winter or something? Like, you got anything coming up back at Valor? We haven't planned anything yeah. yet. Hopefully yeah. early oh. next year though. But yeah. definitely we have some things in the work. Yeah. We're working on it. We're working, yeah, on we're working on some hometown stuff. But I mean, really, our focus for the end of the year is writing in Europe. Yeah. So um, that's that's kind of on the on the radar for now. But nice. We'll be working. Well, if you guys are back at Valor, I'll be there. I'll drive up yeah. again. Yeah. It was like, so worth the drive. We'll it was all so fun. Yeah! I'll pick you up, girly, and we'll die. Yeah, I'll come up with you and I'll curl into the crowd. Curl. I love it. Girlies. Um, so I can't. Are we starting a new one? Curlies. Curlies, girlies, girlies. Girlies are boys. Oh, girlies are the boys. Yeah. We literally. Like, also, amazing. The five, we, we just posted a photo with Five Sauce. Yeah. And we, the caption was literally girlies and burlies on the Meet You There tour. So funny. They and are like, burlies. They are, they are burlies because they're also just they're like fully big. massive men. They are burly men. Burly, burly men. men. So it kind of burly is it, 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 it killing, you know, what is it? Two birds with one stone. Yeah. Yeah. Girlies and burlies. The last one music video. Mm. Yeah. You directed that. Dead. You you made that happen. That was your idea. <laughs> made that happen. Tell me but how. But we all made it happen. You know? we, yeah, well, you, you all. But you were the little mastermind behind it. Thank you. Um, tell me, like, how you came, like, when you came up with that idea and to execution, like, how much kind of changed and, and uh, like, how happy you are with the final product, I guess? I think I'm really happy with the final product. I think, I mean, naturally, you're always, like, kind of, like, your biggest critic and, like, you do, like, see, like, all the tiny things that bug you. But I am very, very proud of all of us and that we were able to pull that off, especially the circumstances we were given because that was, like, very on a whim video. So I think that was, like, thus far, at least for me personally, the the highest production video that I've ever gotten to do and that had the most like intricate plot, I guess. So, um, yeah, I feel like it was like, it was a real like, just like domino effect, like where the idea like came from. Like I've, I've talked about it a little bit, like it came from. There was this one hilarious time where we all thought we got like a crazy Did disease. Someone, was it that someone sent you a, uh, an edible yeah, arrangement? Yeah, we got sent an edible arrangement. It was a very sweet friends, gesture. Like our good friends, they felt so yeah. bad. 
It was a very sweet gesture, but then, like, it broke out on the news because tons of people were going into the hospital with uh, hepatitis A, and we were like, shit, we ate one of those. So <laughs> we fully thought we, like, had it for a minute, and I don't know how that then sparked the idea because I knew it was around the time that we needed another music video, and the last one was the one. The so. right yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, yeah, there's, like, it kind of correlated, I think, because we talked about it because we found out and we're kind of freaking out right before we went on stage in Virginia, and so we were on stage, and I remember, like, at our headlining shows, we all kind of talk. So, like, I'll grab my little mic and, like, say something. And I, like, made a joke about this, like, being our last show ever because, like, we thought we were going to die from this disease. And then that kind of just, like, stuck in my mind. I kind of just, like, genuinely ran away with that concept of, like, I was – because – and, like, just thinking about last one and stuff, like, it's pretty – um it's pretty upbeat. It's pretty sugary. And I kind of felt like it would be cooler to do something a little more literal and a little more, like, off the cuff that you wouldn't expect yeah. for that instead of just, like, a, you know, just, like, what it's about, which is, like, basically the last song you're going to write about mm-hmm. somebody that broke your heart. But I think – yeah, I don't know. I feel like contrast between like the vibe and theme of the song to like what the video was it's very like just different I yeah liked it. I it was really fun it wasn't Thanks. what i expected but i enjoyed it <laughs> i really liked the touch it. of the uh, gummy bears in like the guitar strings yeah like, everywhere <laughs> yeah incredible They're just like nasty Do you really? yeah i like, just saw there's like two little ones still there, like, <laughs> no! this is gross yeah, it was scary. something else you guys did you did a little uh, collab with small pools mm-hmm. on the song stumbling home um, I, yes. want, I was wondering how that like happened, how that came to be. Um, yeah, Small Pools just approached us and um, ap- approached me and w- really wanted me to sing on. Want to sing, originally wanted me to sing the bridge, and I, I it kind of was like pretty low for my range, and so we were kind of working on it. And then um, I was like, hey, do you guys mind if I just like, if I just like sing the entire thing and you can pick what you want? I just feel like the bridge is a little low for my for my. Um, for my range and they were like absolutely they were just so sweet and like just let me do really whatever I wanted um and then just pick and chose their favorite parts and just um I ended up you know letting me letting me take the second verse so which I think is cool because like that doesn't always happen once you're featuring on someone else's no song. it definitely yeah. doesn't and like you know we've about. been we've been approached by by a couple different people and and it, some things ended up not working out but the one thing and I think the reason why the small pool one came out and and why you know we love it so much and i i know that they're happy with it too was because it really felt like a genuine duet and a genuine collaboration and they like really were so respectful and so sweet and just inviting me in you know on on that song so i love that song i think it's really it's a super fun song and who knows maybe we'll see if if we ever do it live yeah we'll see what happens yeah next thing you guys did was you put out a spanish version of last one Si senora. We did, we did. Um, that was awesome. That was so fun to do. Uh, Alisa's and I, our dad, he's our a translator. Father. Our father is a translator. Oh um, that's his like full time job. And so his first language. Translating? Lang- yeah, translator. Oh, cool. So our dad, his first language is Spanish. And he's Honduran. And, you know, Ken and Katie and all of us grew up like really studying spanish kind of was in like ap spanish and like we yeah, it's enough, like there really is like a big spanish culture in utah there's a lot there's a lot, lot of latin americans like, like all of our schools all and of our stuff. parents a lot of our parents speak spanish like my both my parents do your don't doesn't your brother does your brother speak spanish nope oh my <laughs> sister does <laughs> nope my sister, sister does and i take spanish yeah. in school yeah and i li- have an older sister Totally. And then Elisa and I, <laughs> our mom and dad, will speak Spanish as well. So it's just been like a huge part of our, you know, like who we are. And, and I felt it was like a really special thing we got to do. And especially me and Katie, like sitting and working with my dad and him, like coaching us through the accent and making sure it sounded right and making sure we said everything correctly. And yeah. um, I just, and I also just, we love, we really, really hope to go to those parts of the world and like just go everywhere. And so I hope, I hope the fans over there are enjoying it. Totally. We're excited to go to Spain. Do you think you'll do the Spanish version in Spain? Ah, uh, these two girlies. Yes, girlies. We de- I, I mean, my, yes, my, my, I gotta work on it, but <laughs> <laughs> we gotta work on it, but. So do we though? Like seven years. Seven years. <laughs> seven years. <laughs> well, I think it'd be awesome to try to do that in Spain. That'd be awesome. Be awesome. Like it. like it. Um, so tonight we're at the Comerica Theater in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, the first show I ever saw here, I was eight years old. And it was the Cheetah Girls and oh. Hannah Montana. Wait, here? Yeah. Our, 
Wait, the Cheetah Bills and Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Speaking open. of Spain, just kidding. Wait, open. Hannah Montana. Open. This was like right when Hannah Montana started. It, it was That's my absolute. I, awesome. Hannah, I was obsessed was with Hannah Montana. One of like, the greatest shows I've ever seen. She's obsessed with Miley. Yeah. We all, we as we all were, but yeah. Yeah. like my heart. That's what we should be for Halloween, honestly. Is the Cheetah Girls? Cheetah Girls. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys down? Do you guys remember the first show you went to? Yeah, mine like are very similar. Jonas Brothers and Miley Cyrus. Yep. But she was Miley that at that point. It. She was not down to be Hannah anymore. She, she was down breaking down. through with yeah. Can't Be Tamed yeah. vibe. Oh, that was so. already at that point. It was already at that I point. Honestly, was it? I didn't go to like a major concert until I was like 13? Yeah, probably I really same. didn't get to go to one until I was like I probably Creed 12, like 13. age 6 or 7 <laughs> at the Olympics. Yeah. That was my first At the Olympics. Hannah Mo- the Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus with Jonas Brothers was one of my first, but yeah, my yeah. first that I remember is James Taylor. At the USANA Amphitheater. Yeah. So you guys did an acoustic version, or like a, a whole acoustic album of uh, I Don't Like Being Honest. Which you, is really awesome. Um, you've done that research. We haven't, we haven't released that. Really? Besides, well, it, was it was like... It was like to fans. It was to a certain giveaway. To certain yeah. fans, but that's not released on platforms. Oh. Yeah. You can't look that up. I got that. You gotta you have it. I got that shit. So we've actually been talking about possibly releasing that. Oh, like, like on officially the real putting scale, it on like Spotify and stuff? Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, it was like a, there was a piano version of st- uh, touch. touch. Okay, I was like, I haven't listened to it in a minute. Too, mm-hmm. Yeah. But touch is like is that you playing piano. It was. Yeah. 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 That was I will really say fun. I like the piano version of touch better than the regular one. Like I love it so much. Yeah, me too. Like it's heartbreaking. Rebirth that song. Yeah. It, like it gives a whole new meaning to the lyrics. It, I think it slowed it down. It yeah. Slowed it down. I liked it. Yeah. Are there any plans to do uh, when my heart felt volcanic acoustic? I mean, possible. There's never Maybe say never. Songs. Never say never, but um, I guess we'll see. Um, you guys mentioned the Fender headquarters today. Um, that you went and 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 had a good time. Um, I was wondering, like, because you 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 mainly play a telly, Katie. Um, but you've been playing uh, a ja- a jazz master lately, and then you play is it a Mustang or a yes, Jaguar? Yes, but I might be switching over to a telly soon. Okay, I always wonder because like I play a telly, like I love my telly, but it's like what made you like fall in love with a telly or like you know switch to the jazz master and stuff? Yeah. Um. It's a good question. I have baby hands. Yeah, me too. I don't know if you've noticed, but they're abnormally small. <laughs> the same hands, and the same people. What I like about a Telecaster, I feel like you kind of have to give and take. Like with Gibson, they're a little fat. The neck's a little fatter, but yeah. the the frets are closer together, and so it's easier that way. Whereas like a like Fender is has slimmer necks, and it just feels. It's always felt really comfortable to me, and I've always felt like a Telecaster sounds like our music the best. Mm. It just fits the tone and like well, how we play and uh, most matches. of the record was done on the Telecaster, on the telecaster yeah. yeah like yeah. all of it actually nice. like a few s- like some parts weren't but most of it is on the telly and then i always wanted a jazz master actually one of my biggest like guitar inspirations plays a jazz and i think that's why i've like wanted a jazz my whole life yeah, but yeah. just watching him live on stage like he's just so so incredible and i actually always wanted a jazz after i saw him play um, but yeah, I found it took me a while to find one that I actually really liked, and then found out with a exclusive version for a little bit, and sure. I love it. So yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, um, guitars and uh, just instruments in general are kind of funny because you kind of you really have to find your th- like it takes a while to find your guitar, your bass, your drum kit. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't play a ton of guitar as it is. I'm 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 more I'm like the lead singer, you know, I don't I don't do that a bunch, so I don't have as many guitar needs as Katie, but um Telecasters to me I just like I've all I like since Katie was the one who introduced me to them really, because she has been playing them since we like, you know, basically met when we were kids. Um and I used to play like this hollow body Gretsch knockoff that was like an Ibanez that I still love. Like, and I love Gretsch's, but it was a little too big. And then um, have been playing the Mustang, which I like a lot. Mustangs sometimes are a little hard though, because I think to get your tone right is a little tough because they're a little twangy. Um, whereas Telecasters have like a bit of a heavier, I don't, they're just feel like sound, this is gonna sound weird, but more grounded almost. Like they have a little more grit to them. Um, and I think Telecasters in general are just like across the board feel good to almost anybody yeah like uh, th- i don't think many people and maybe correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think many people can say that they don't like a telecaster like everyone i know who has one is obsessed never wants to change never wants to get a different guitar and so i feel like i'm i'm just finally gonna be like i just want to get one because yeah. i just love them they're great Did you pick 
up today? Um, I didn't pick one up today, but I put like an order in for one. There Someone's yeah. coming, and hopefully, I get one for the European tour. Nice, so, yeah. that's so exciting. Oh, I got one last question for you guys, and I asked Crystal this, but maybe she'll change her answer. Who knows? Um, I have a radio show uh, for college radio. That's what I do. Um, it's called the Amanda Show, and I play like the hit Amanda Show theme song from the nice. Thank I you. love that. Yeah. I still remember. Yeah. Um, so I was wondering if the four of you had your own college radio show, uh, what would it be called and what would be like your DJ name? For oh, DJ Crisscross like Cross Applesauce. Yeah. That's my, my um, patent. <laughs> it's, but if you guys can come up with something fun. Well, well can't say it. And your DJ name. Yeah. Me and Crystal both took radio in high school. Oh. Which was a we great did. class. Cool. It was fun. But I never All really I came up with a great, great DJ name. There were four, four of them. That's done. That's okay. Like, oh, that's yeah. like that's good. Yeah, that's great. So maybe we would do like, but it's a collective one. Is the ACs? Okay. Yeah. So you join it. Join right Um, <laughs> the Mac M A C K. <laughs> the Mac. 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 We would just <laughs> call it the initials. Mac. Ace faces. The Mac Tastic. Smooth sexy jams <laughs> with the aces. I guess we have to, we have to think on it. Yeah. It's but I would say, I'd DJ say, so. what are oh, wait, let's do individual DJ names. I mean, mine is easy. Crisscross applesauce. I've already said that. I'll Did you have one for radio? What was yours? Mine was really DJ Ken Pettywop, probably. Ooh, yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. I don't know. My, well, maybe I'd be like, um. Do you have yours? My dad, I've just barely thought of this for some, <laughs> for some reason, but my dad, like, forever always whenever he sees me goes cater waiter baiter schmaters so maybe that's my name oh, okay <laughs> like just go on just go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever <laughs> literally <laughs> what I cater waiter um, i already forgot mine would probably be like i just be like dj baby a or some shit dj baby a <laughs> dj baby a with the freshest tune Trubic, Trubic Angel. Angel. Katie would be yeah. Trubic, Trubic, Trubic Angel. Trubic Angel. Yeah, all your little, uh, <laughs> Trubic like Angel your sounds. Names. Trubic Angel all sounds. Publishing Our publishing names. You brought that up in the last interview. Yeah. That was oh, some yeah. deep That's digging. That's so yeah. funny. Yeah. You got to really look at the fine print. I, yeah, I read the tiny stuff. Nice. Oh, cool. Cool. All right. Well, thank you for, for spending thank this time so with much. me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Y'all are the best. Thanks, guys. Do you believe in love? Oh, <gasps>